Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux on a virtual machine. I never have this tutorial doing Linux tutorial. But I guess today is the day where you manage to understand how to make a operating system in a virtual machine or a Oracle Virtual Machine Manager box or Virtual Box whichever you want to use is okay but there is Hyper-B for professional version and enterprise version and of course there is Ultimate version but however the Ultimate version is not that much of a needed to but it's just only for a person that is using the operating system with the specification and you can run a lot of VMware or Hyper-V or whatsoever which is already pre-installed in the uh, Pro version and all the way from Pro version all the way down to Ultimate but today since I'm using a home edition so I'm using this as my operating system for now until I get the money to get a new one so this is gonna be new <laughs> so you don't know how to install a Ubuntu simple just click on new but at the same time you wanna like go and get your grab file and make sure you move to the desktop one second. Yeah, it's not a big thing. Anyway, uh, so you can add in a name, maybe test two zero two zero. If you're in school then yes you might want to do that but you don't want to do something funny so go ahead and go type go to Oracle no let's go all the way to do I have Ubuntu no not at all Linux maybe I try Linux 2.4 whichever fit my boat anyway so this is Linux go ahead and click on next go ahead and move that all the way to 2048 Ubuntu you usually will use more so Keep in mind, don't do that funny stuff and you have to make sure you read this through the recommendation size yeah sure why not and then make sure you click on VDI don't click on other things so you won't be able to boot up and this is the most very funny part is storage on a physical disk you just have to use the micro escalator don't use fixed size otherwise it will load on your system and you will have a lot of problem so this is how many gigabyte you need uh, let's see far and size let's make that 10 gig change that all the way so we created a virtual machine here so what you're gonna do is uh, right click go settings real quick and then wait so you can see all the settings here make sure it's correct let's 
serious. Okay, so this is not new, 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 nothing. Maybe display real quick, storage, audio. Ah, here we go. So here is under the controller, just go ahead and click. And this, and add. I know yesterday I did a React OS, but it's still on the virtual machine. So, cost you can download ISO file as much as you want, but you definitely don't want to like do funny business with it. So you can see Ubuntu is installed. You don't do all these, and then later on. If you decided to mo do more stuff, you definitely will be running it. But of course, but run, that's the main thing. So now wait for it. And we got an operating system. Funny part is I never I use this on my Comte Plus SM. It's definitely way more harder in a different environment, but this is a operating system that you don't want to mix up for sure. But look, hello, where is my virtual machine? I think something is wrong. Definitely you can delete and do a new one if you want to. I'm just gonna do one far. So I just gonna go ahead and create a new virtual machine again and make sure this time I lower it. Uh just go Linux. You bun to sixty four bit. And then Go ahead and type in that name again. Stick at 1024, make sure. And then this. And then BDI. Same, same things, but definitely twitch a little bit, you know, make sure. And then go ahead and start. It will start to prompt you where is your ISO disk. Previously, I installed when I run a virtual machine but you can also try different things it doesn't harm your main operating system it's just a virtualized sandbox system where you can run physical and non-physical file No better it loads. It's a secondary thing. So just wait.
I'm not surprised it's not working. We can shut down the system real quick, power off. Right click go settings. Make sure you know what you're doing. Don't just anyhow do something. Two zero four eight. Maybe that's the main issue. And then go to the processor real quick. And then go ahead and click OK and then try start if it's failed then you can continue and delete and redo again you definitely need to fast come to A plus examination Is either this operating system is download the wrong file or the ISO file is not working. Funny part is Linux is not running. Let's test out the yesterday machine. Whether it works is different. It works as an operating system. Maybe I did something wrong or something. The Linux is not working. Gee, I don't know why. But this is definitely working, that's for sure. Oh, the I can wrong video memory. I gonna try again.
to, uh, yeah, sure, why not? VDI. Let's set this to 20 gigabyte. Maybe that's the main thing. I'm not sure. And then start and hopefully work. I don't know about the other version about this. Linux is definitely not my biggest concern. We'll see if it works or not. Hello again, it's not working. Is there any other way to install this? Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't... Maybe operating system is different, but I'm doing <laughs> more. I'm gonna try other Linux instead and see better it works. This better works. Escalate this to 10. Go ahead and remove that real quick. Hopefully, load. I mean, it's definitely slow. Damn, I'm also tired. I don't know, this Ubuntu is not working at all. Nope, it takes forever to load. <laughs>
Uh, it took me a while to get it. I've been running. So now he's gonna wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. While well, we play the waiting game and see whether it's gonna load, I'm gonna jump cut to the next process page. And we're back! While we are installing, I did run into some configuration issues. It sort of load and then it will start to show black screen and then a few of it. I mean, maybe, maybe if I'm not wrong, this is the Ubuntu that is different from the school version. The school version definitely be more faster than this. Frankly speaking, I I have no freaking idea. So right now, click on install Ubuntu. It will take a while, as usual. <laughs> uh, this is so hilarious now. But working alone on this operating system is difficult. This is was waiting for it to work. <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna go view real quick. And then I'm going to scale mode. This is much better. Go. K U S. Why not? Then go ahead. Click continue real quick. Normal installation, download and update Ubuntu install the party software and graphic Wi-Fi. Of course, I want this. The I mean, system is definitely need something. Otherwise, then I'd be physically dead. With the no computer graphic is seriously fucked up. And if you really want to change window to Linux, is of course you can, but you definitely don't want to do that. You will need a virtual machine if you want to play multiple computer with it, and you definitely want virtual machine as a backup. So now we gotta wait. As you can see, my mouse decided to go the circle, waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> daytime probably better but there is some problem with the daytime network it's definitely slow so I wouldn't be able to download Ubuntu it's a big file frankly so now it is waiting go ahead and click install now you can go ahead and click erase this because it definitely don't need anymore after oh uh, it's just definitely not on a not on a real machine it's just a virtual machine so it's definitely there yada 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 sure why not click continue Now it's going to wait for one more, so I will post it again. So yeah, this is back. So I currently move my location, exact location, don't need to. 
Otherwise, you want to like lie, then go ahead and click Arizona City. Much better this way, so I won't be able to like give up my real location. Now it's just waiting again. Uh, Jesus. And then go ahead, click a name. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> it detect my virtual box directly. So go ahead and choose a password. And then go ahead and click yes, continue. It may take a while, this is the part where you will tediously and wait again. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. This installing is gonna take a while more, so I'm gonna like pause this video here real quick. So you may not need the animus. So I'm back now. I was watching Assassin Creed. I was thinking I'm getting Assassin Creed 2, but seems to be a little bit more troublesome. So now it will ask me to restart. So I go ahead and restart and see how long it takes. Usually it takes a while. The installation takes nearly about 15 minutes or so. Well, this is definitely faster than the installation. The installation takes 50 minutes. This will take about 3 minutes to load up for your first use. At the same time, this may also take a bit more longer than usual because depends on your hardware. If your hardware is not capable of running this kind of virtual machine, then don't try Linux. Just stick with Windows, that's it. So I gotta wait till it backs up again, so be right back. 
And we're back. The system is fully booted up. Just go ahead and click next, 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 and next. You're ready to go. You got a bunch of apps installed. Okay, so. And this is a Ubuntu store. <laughs> so what you got in this is you got Firefox, Thunderbird Mail, and you got files. You got rent rent box, and you got LibreOffice Writer as a open office product, and Ubuntu software. You can pretty much install a lot of this. And you got show application as well. You definitely got a full fledged working sort of Ubuntu software on a operating system, but is a virtual machine, so it's not really running much. So it's gonna take a while. It depends on how many RAM and how many things you put inside on a operating system. You don't you definitely don't want to run all. So you have a lot of things like you got games, you got this, you got image, you got liberal office and you got quite a few things. And then you got settings, you got shot, you got terminal, you got video, you got Ubuntu store, and a lot of other things, but definitely you don't need all that thing, but of course. Let's see whether it will let me do some web browsing on this Ubuntu. Why it connected? Better is gonna launch Firefox is a whole new different. So yeah, once you got it running and everything, you're good to go. You can pass your part 2 examination for CompTIA if you decided to go for CompTIA A+, plus for part 1 and part 2, and definitely you will run into examination for Ubuntu and installation, while installation you also be running typical other stuff. Well, I did kind of click on browser and I did click on the shop, <laughs> so it's messed up. So it's gonna be running. Hopefully I can get it running. I don't know. So tired. Ugh. Come on. And you got a bit of other things here. If it's loading, 
what is good about Ubuntu, it usually gives you internet connection and direct sound so you don't need to mess up a lot of other things <laughs> even though it's working or not, that would be different I don't really use this kind of operating system Currently, term is I don't use Linux in the mainframe, but this is definitely a step where you can use a virtual machine and control your main window and this. Funny thing is the you, the web browser is not working here. Oh well, I cannot 100% say this is gonna work. But in my own free time, I will do it. But if you guys really want to test out Ubuntu, it's free, and I will link down the description. So keep in mind the installation may take a while, and you have to keep guessing which computer and installation you guys are gonna use so Ubuntu took me quite a few guessing and you guys can see me rot and rot and turn around the settings to make it work sort of ah crap my PC just Rose now. I just gonna power off. That's it. So I consider this as a success. It, it works as a Linux. But keep in mind the installation may take a while. Other Windows is probably better, but in any case, but that's about it. That's Ubuntu to you. The installation take a long time, connecting to store and everything. It will take more than 30 to 1 hour to get a file escalated up. So, anyway, thank you very much. Have a nice day. And sorry this video took a while and very long. Bye bye.